G'day YouTube, this is just a quick overview of the new Ubuntu 13.10 desktop release that has uh, just come out really recently, the, the, the beta release. So um, it's actually not too far away from the, uh, the, the full final release, but this one has just come out somewhat recently. So I'll get into it. So starting off, it's got uh, it uses Firefox still as the default browser. It is said to be replaced soon with Google Chrome, but no, for 13.10 it will stay as Mozilla Firefox. So that's interesting to see. Uh, the music player too is Rhythmbox as well, which is good to see because I prefer that over the uh, another older version that they they kind of switch back and forth between Rhythmbox and another one. Now moving on, as you can see, it's got uh, LibreOffice, LibreWriter, all of that, so that's pretty keen as well. But this is all standard stuff. The Probably some of the big things is the kernel being used, and surprise, surprise, I do not actually know that. So I'll just check it in the, uh, check it in the terminal now and see what it is. Uh, 3.11, wow, that, that's actually pretty keen. I'm pretty sure 13.04, uh, the current release of Ubuntu, is... 3.8.5 or something like that but it, yeah it's definitely 3.8 something and this is 3.11 so it's quite the jump up so I'm actually uh, pretty proud of that so now when, when of course you get the the new kernel release updates you're going to get uh, new support for drivers and other things like that so it's always good to see them update that one to really the latest and greatest because I'm pretty sure only 3.10 came out not too long ago now uh, moving on, the uh, probably the biggest change in uh, Ubuntu 13.10 is the uh, the the Mer window server. So it's actually I think at the moment it's called X Mer window server, but what it basically allows is for convergence between your mobile phones and your actual desktop uh, Ubuntu Linux computer as well. So it's all based on the same Windows server now, which is really great. Probably the main reason why I would say that is great for and what people say it would be great for is just for the fact that you can uh, it speeds up development for the Ubuntu community so much more because they don't have to uh, create programs or whatnot for different actual uh, platforms but they're sort of like I mentioned it's it's convergence all for the one so that's really great to see as well and uh, you'll see in a few other things here like uh, you get suggestions on your uh, on your your applications menu here. I don't believe I've got them turned on at the moment or do I? Let's have a look. No, not quite, but you can turn those off. For example, you see, uh, I don't know, books from Amazon or music from Ubuntu One or things like that. So that's pretty much uh, the standard stuff there. So this is pretty much just a, just a really, really quick spiel on the new release of Ubuntu 13.10. I hope you've enjoyed, guys. Please leave a comment. Um, I've noticed a lot of people have been uh, having issues getting the beta running, so uh, lucky that I've, I suppose, have been able to show you guys that a little bit. Um, and it should be the, the final version should be coming out on the 25th of October, which is uh, reminiscent of previous years, I believe. Uh, in 2010, it came out in 10:10. Uh, go figure. But uh, other years, it's usually been. 25th of October for the uh, the point ten release of Ubuntu. So that's pretty much it, guys. I'm just uh, blabbering on now, but thanks for your time. Uh, please leave a comment and subscribe. Cheers. Thanks for your time. Bye.